Hi there guys and welcome to TMK's Nostalgic Mortal Kombat Hotspots. What a mouthful. Uh, basically what happened was uh, I grew up in Queensland so um, as you can see hopefully if I've edited this video right uh, this picture of Australia here you got Queensland up here and you got Victoria down here. Um, I was born in Victoria, but um, my parents moved to Queensland, and I grew up in Queensland till I was about 18, and then I moved back to Victoria. Now, for those of you who didn't watch my other videos, Queensland ended up banning blood on Mortal Kombat 1 and 2, blood and fatalities, um, saying it was too violent. And uh, when I moved to Melbourne, I was wrapped because, um, you know, every Mortal Kombat machine had blood. However... There were machines, some machines in Queensland, if you looked hard enough, that had blood. And uh, I'm going to show you a place where I played all my Mortal Kombat games. Because um, this guy had the blood on. And um, that's where I did all the fatalities for the first time on Arcade. And uh, I recently went there, and that place is still there, and that guy is still there. I couldn't believe it. This is like 13 years later, and he's still there in the fish and chip shop, you know, the arcade machines are gone, but I'm going to show you sort of how it was and that, um, yeah, so that's going to be cool, um, I guess I should start off by, um, I'm going to start from the, from the very, uh, from the very bottom, uh, when I uh, was up in Queensland, I visited like my old houses and schools and that. So what you're seeing here is my very first uh, house uh, where I lived in Queensland when I was like a little kid, you know, like a, I don't know, <laughs> two to eight or something. Um, we lived in this house. Um, during that time, I went to this school, St. Ignatius Primary School in Tuong. Uh now, what you're seeing here is a shopping centre called Tolong Village. Uh, I'd say around the time I was about 12, uh, we in, I got a, um, f from a Toy World store in there, a, um, it was an imitation Atari system, but I played all the Atari games and it was like half the price, it was like 50 bucks. I wish I still had that thing, man, but um, I don't, unfortunately. It's the only game system out of everything that I've ever had that I don't have. You know, I keep all my stuff. I keep boxes, receipts, bags. Now I keep everything. I'm really methodical about my um, gaming equipment. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, that's where I got my first game system. Um, now what you're seeing is where we moved. We moved houses from Tuong into a suburb called Indrapilly. Uh, this house is where it all went down, man. This is where I got my Mega Drive, my SNES. This is where you know. I went through all my teen years in this house, and this is where I played all the Mortal Kombat 1 and 2. I played them to death in this house, man. The, that, that house is on sacred property. You know, the people that live there don't know that I was... My Mortal Kombat spirit was born in that house, man. I clocked MK1 there. I, I, I challenged everyone in that house, man. <laughs> Anyone could come over, and I would kick their ass. Uh, Mortal Kombat 1 and 2, I played them to death in that house, um, which was cool. Um, now what you're seeing is the high school I was going to while I was in this area, uh, Tuong State High School. Um, you know, I didn't do that well in school and that, and um, didn't have a lot of friends back then, really. Um, but... The friends I did have all were gamers, and um, I, I met this one guy, his name was Nadim, and uh, he was the first guy who told me the blood code in Mortal Kombat. Um, he was the guy who said, oh, you know, that I mentioned in another video, I said, I'm getting Mortal Kombat tonight, uh, I'm hiring it out from the video store, and he gave me the blood code, so he's the first guy that gave me the blood code, and um, yeah, on the... On my last, uh, I dropped out, uh, I finished year 10, but uh, after that I left the school, and uh, I've got a picture on the screen now. Uh, this is like our library complex, complex, where that red arrow is, was where we were the last day of school, and I remember we were all in there, like, signing our yearbooks, and he wrote this, what you can see on the screen there, I've still got it, 
to Luke, Sub-Zero wins. Excellent. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Um, now what you're seeing here is where I always hide out my games. Um, I think you guys say rent over there, um, but we can say hire here. So if you're wondering why I'm saying hire, um, that's why. Um, yeah, I hired Mortal Kombat 1 there and Mortal Kombat 2 once because I only needed to hire Mortal 2 once. I ended up buying it like the next day. In fact, I remember having two copies for a day. That was sort of trippy. Um, now what you're seeing here is another school that was in the area. Um, I had a friend that went to this school who uh, really liked Mortal Kombat 2. And uh, he used to always challenge me, but he couldn't beat me. I remember one day, though, he came back like, you know, I've been playing Mortal Kombat, and I know how to win, and I'm going to kick your ass, you know. And I'm thinking, shit, maybe he really did get good at it, you know. And I think he did beat me, like, the first game. And he was using, like, Liu Kang. He was just going spastic with Liu Kang, you know, like, wah, 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 fireball, fireball, wah, wah, flunky. You know, and at first, you know, I'm like, I was blocking in that, but, um, yeah, he, he, then he was doing some sort of counter hit. But the way I got out of it was with Johnny Cage, man. He couldn't believe it. I jumped right over his head, and I just kept hitting him in the nuts, and he couldn't get out of it. He goes, dude, I can't beat you. You're the best Mortal Kombat player. <laughs> so he admitted defeat. Um... Yeah, on to the next one. This is the Indrapilly News Agent. Uh, this is where I first bought Mortal Kombat comics. Uh, comic 1, Comic 2, Comic 3, Comic 4, Blood and Thunder. Um, bought them at this news agent. Um, now what you're seeing is a shopping centre up the road called Indrapilly Shopping Town. And there's a Target in there, which I've got a red line around there. That's where I bought Mortal Kombat 2 on Super Nintendo and Mortal Kombat 2 on Game Boy. So, yeah. Um it's it was quite a it was quite trippy um going back to, and seeing all these places um like 13 years later, you know. Um but it was a lot of fun and I thought I'd just put this together for a laugh, you know. I mean, a, a lot of this probably means nothing to you guys, but um I know a lot of you guys know I'm passionate about my Mortal Kombat, so I thought I'd show some of the roots. <laughs> um yeah, now I'll show you, um, I'll play a few of the clips um, of stuff that I videoed uh, that I was just talking about. Uh, I got a few clips. I uh, filmed the fish and chip shop and uh, Indrapilly Shopping Town there and uh, where I got my comics. So, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys for the next video, whatever it may be. Ah, just forgot to... Uh, go back and talk about the fish and chip shop. I've got a clip I'm going to show, and um, I also talk in that clip when I recorded it, but um, before I show you that one, I'll just give you a bit of background. Um, the screenshot you're seeing here from the video um, is of the shop. Um, there's, a sh there's a little vending, oh not a vending machine, a fridge there in the doorway that says, uh, I think, iced coffee. And basically, that's where the arcade machines were. There was two. There was one that faced outside the shop, I faced out, and there was one that sort of faced the right, faced towards the right wall, uh, inside the shop, um, the one that faced out was a Street Fighter machine, just had Street Fighter on it, and the one that faced to the right had Mortal Kombat on it, and it had Street Fighter 2, and it had some other games that no one ever played, um, the games that were always played were Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter 2, um, so that's where I played Mortal Kombat, um, for the first time in Brisbane uh, with the blood on and that's where I, I played it heaps um, I put in a two dollar coin and that would give you I think it, it was four four or five games I think five so I had five credits to use um, and I used to do that before going to another school and uh, yeah I did that every day before school. I played five games of Mortal Kombat. And that's, at first, the computer just warped me. Because, you know, when you go from the Mega Drive version to, <laughs> to the um, to the arcade, man, the arcade shows no mercy. In fact, I think I won my first match with Johnny Cage, just doing something really cheap, like down low kicks or something. <laughs> and then I, re I, I worked out some patterns, and I realized, you know, this was a lot more hardcore and fast. And, um, yeah, so I did every Mortal Kombat Fatality in that fish and chip shop. That's where I first saw them with the gore. Sub-Zero, Spine Rip, Raiden's, uh, um, 
Head blow off move, Kano's heart rip, Liu Kang's spinning uppercut, um, Scorpion's burn. Uh, I said something already, didn't I? Yeah, Sonya's uh, kiss of death, Johnny Cage's uh, head uppercut. That's where I did them all. So that place is special to me. To everyone else, it's just a fish and chip shop. Enjoy the clips. Hi guys, what you've just seen is the first place I played Mortal Kombat on arcade at, which was the fish and chip shop there. That was the first time I played it on the arcade, and that's where I learned all my skills there, here down at Oxley. The second place I showed you, the shopping centre, there was another place there that had a Mortal Kombat arcade machine, but um, that's gone now. So, a bit of history up here in Queensland. And, uh, yeah, I thought you guys would like, like that. The guy there was telling me uh, he didn't recognize me at first. He's still there, you know, 13 years later or something, you know. And he was telling me those were the good old days. He remembers when I used to come in and he used to pump all my $2 coins into the machines. And, yeah, was, I couldn't believe he's still there. So that's awesome. Bit of history there. Cool. Oh, I first bought my Mortal Kombat comics from that news agent. Sweet. Yep, my MK2s came from in that shopping center. Snares and Game Boy.